Today, Chad and I are gonna be checking out this little 1968 Mustang Coupe. With the weather outside, we're not gonna drive them today and we can't run them inside for very long. Uh, we wanna make sure you guys got a chance to hear this thing run. Starts very nice, good sound and dual exhaust. Um, it still is on. It was on fast idles, so just started it up, but good sound and dual exhaust. The good running engine. So this is a beautiful little 68. I love the color on this thing. Um, kind of that um, burnt orange, reddish tint to it with the white C-stripe. Just really makes this thing stand out. Love the choice of wheels and tires on it too. You know, if a guy don't like the white lines, you can always change them. But I, you know, they kind of make it pop a little bit. I, I love the color of this car. I, I agree with you 100% at all. I mean, it's a well optioned car. It's got power steering, and that's the main thing on these little 65 to 68 Mustangs. Stock manifolds, 289, does have a four barrel. And look at the quality of the paint on the bottom side of the hood. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. Not only did they pick a good color, but they laid it down right. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's half the battle. Picking the color is the easy part. Hard part's getting it to, to look like this when it's done. There's so many little Mustangs that are just a little tacky. You know, they're a little wavy down the side or the underneaths aren't quite very nice. This one's awesome. You can take this to any, any local car show and be super proud of this one. Uh, back of the hood lines up nice. Top of the fender matches good to the top of the cowl and hood. Yeah, I remember, I'll tell a story. I remember when we first got this thing in, um, you know, the day we got it in, it was parked out front. It was that night and I came back by the dealership. My headlights hit this thing and I go, holy shit, what is that? You know, I did pull over and get out and look at it because the, the color with the C-stripe, man, just draws you right in. Yeah, it's Great gorgeous. Car. They did a beautiful job. You know, even the paint work and stuff like that in the, uh, the front fender eyebrow areas. Um, it's got the chrome decor package with the wheel well trim, rocker molding, and that stuff's older. I mean, you can tell that that wasn't freshly put on. Um, you've got a couple little paint chips. Again, this car's been driven. So, I mean, you got a couple little chips here and there, but uh, the restoration quality was done right. Which is a nice thing. So the guy, you know, typically people that are buying these little Mustang coupes, they're buying them to drive, to enjoy, to take to some local shows. Um, so if you get one that's, that's too perfect, it kind of defeats that purpose. So this one's, like Chad said, local car show quality car, but still you can drive it and enjoy it. Exactly. Couple little smudges here. Um, unfortunately, we took it out and uh, kind of drove it a little bit earlier, but uh, so it's got a couple little smudges that need to be wiped off. Um, door handles are original. As far as our dash goes, dash pad's really nice. Door jam paint was done beautifully as well. Corners of the doors are nice. Uh, door panels um, are older. You can tell a couple, it's got just a little bit of a crack in that door panel. Um, and a couple little, how you doing Murphy? How you doing down there? What do you think of it under there? Checking out the undercarriage, Murphy. Yep, he always tells us if it's a good one or not. Got a couple little dings on the metal here on the inside of the door jam. As far as the uh, rocker panel goes, door jam paint is gorgeous. Just as nice as uh, bottom of the hood and the rest of the car. Seats are nice. Dash looks great, the wood grain looks nice. It's got the original 68 steering wheel on it. Uh, dome light works, headliner's nice and tight, visors are good. Seats have been recovered, pads feel nice as well. Back seat's great, it's got seat belts in the front and in the back. Looks like it's got an AM FM uh, little Mustang cassette in there. I mean, here's another thing. Look at the uh, inside corners of the doors, door jam paint, I mean this, beautiful little Mustang was completely taken apart, uh, painted piece by piece and then put back together. And they did an awesome job on all the color matches and everything like that. I don't see anything that's just not right. Uh, back bumper, again, they're only about a hundred bucks, but the back bumper um, shines really well, but it's got a couple little flaws in it. Tail light trim is another thing. If a guy wants to, you can replace it. It's got just little, it's the original stuff, so. That's the wonderful thing with these Mustangs is um, you can pretty much build one of these off out of a damn catalog. You can get just about everything and very reasonable. Yeah, like, exactly. Very reasonable. And the parts are readily available. It reminds me of um, 
kind of on a larger scale, but when you're a kid, you could buy them little cars that you kind of put together and change little things and learn how to, yeah. you know, yeah, put definitely. Kits together. These are it, kind of like that where you can get the parts easy and you can watch YouTube, put them on and, and feel some accomplishment yeah. uh, doing the little things yourself. Yeah, the biggest thing is paint, body. You got to start with a really nice car. Um, and this one is. As far as our lower quarters are in great shape over the wheel well. In front of the rear quarter, we do have just a couple little paint flaws right here. Two little tiny spots, one about the size of my pinky there. And there, the bottom of the door is excellent. And so is that lower fender. I mean, just beautiful paint. All right, look at the lines. I mean, the lines line up nice. Still has the original uh, door tag information on there. It's got uh, 101, 101,000 miles. Wood grain's awesome. Just a super clean car, inside and out, you guys. Should we go through what works and what don't? Quit? Yeah, let's do that. Go ahead. Wipers work. Gas gauge comes right up as well. Gas gauge work. Peter fan from Peter here. Fan sounds, works, like sounds like on low. Doesn't work on high. AM FM radio works. Probably on the station in the building, but yeah, that works great. Yeah, fog lights work too. Yeah, um, we can see that correct them fog light switch in here. Horn, not working. Sometimes you gotta be in the right spot, but um, other than that, Pretty much everything works good. And the car does drive awesome. It did start raining here a little bit ago, and we're not gonna take this beauty out in that kind of weather, but Chad and I have drove this thing previously. Car goes great down the road, brakes are good. Um, just a really great car all the way around. But check it out on the site, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link down in the comment section of this video. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.